Hi, my name is Rhoda. I'm an LPN, a licensed practical nurse, and I work with the elderly here at Spring Hill Senior Residence. Okay, on a typical day here at the nursing home, I will come in and uh, make rounds with the nurses before me. We uh, get a report on what's going on with the patient, uh, any significant vital signs that we need to look out for, any falls, uh, any behavioral issues that we may need to address to the doctor at a certain point. Um, after counting narcotics, which is a minute but very important detail, um, we make rounds uh, individually to assess the patients uh, to see what they may need. Uh, the nursing home that I'm affiliated with, most nurses, or uh, myself, um, usually do phlebotomy, which is the drawing of blood on certain patients that um, need individual labs drawn. On a typical day, I will pass out medications, draw labs. Um, sometimes we, I interact with the patients on a clearly not non-medical basis, but sometimes they just need somebody to talk to. And I will be that person to talk maybe 10, 10 minutes at the most, if I have time. With the patients that are diabetics, they sometimes need nail care, and I will perform nail care on a, an assessment basis. A lot of my job uh, details um, or description is based on repetition. So once I get into giving out meds, um, doing the lab work, calling the doctor back, this it it seems like it it's a it's a step by step process, but you may have 15 patients and this may take you eight hours in that day to take care of those 15 patients. Uh, I put in, uh, the clock says seven to three. I may put in uh, eight and a half, nine hours uh, on any particular day. On a good day, it may be eight and a half. Uh, the stress level here can be pretty high when you have a patient that may be out of control as far as wanting getting something they want or they're trying to get out of the bed they may have a fall if you would like to be an LPN you may go to um, a local community college in your state and uh, apply for the LPN classes the courses involved uh, will probably take two years or less. Um, there are clinicals involved in LPN. Uh, the clinicals may be in pediatric, geriatric, uh, med surge, um, even psychiatric in some cases. When the courses are completed, you will be required to take a state um, test for uh, an LPN license. I think the, the most rewarding or best part of being in this field and as a nurse is seeing when you can make a difference in the patient's life. Uh, you can see them actually get better. You can look back a year ago uh, and say, hey, this person is a whole lot better than they were a year ago this time. Uh, the worst uh, thing that uh, I've heard other people say to me or that might have happened to them is that this person was in distress they were doing everything that they knew how to do or was trained to do and yet it wasn't enough they watched somebody die they watched them convulse they watched them have seizures they watched them just literally die in their arms and there was nothing they could do except be there. Okay. If you are considering uh, becoming a nurse, whether it be um, LPN or RN, I think that some things that you might want to consider is 
are you going to challenge yourself to see someone in a situation and are, will you be able to help that person? Um, will you be able to walk into a room and ask someone or a person or a resident, um, how can I help you do this or may I do this for you? Are you, are you willing to take rejection? If someone tells you no, what will you do? Um, if you are queasy and you, you cannot look at blood, you, you, if you don't like the idea of, of someone being cut or, or shot, or st if you are not able to at least comprehend what that might look like or what it might feel like, then this may not be a good profession for you. If you are not compassionate, if you are not able to understand that people are people, no matter their color, race, or creed, if you are not able to pass a certain barrier, then this may not be um, the profession for you because you're gonna meet all types of people, all types of colors, people with different accents, different backgrounds that eat differently from you do, but you have to be understanding and willing to accept a person for who they are, where they are, and be able to come to a common ground and as far as taking care of that individual. Um, if um, you are ready to for a challenge, because it is a challenge, if you're ready to go in and say, hey, okay, I'm going to see what happens this day because there is no set bounds on what will happen in a day. You just have to be ready and prepared to work around, work through, work over, work for the common good of that person, that patient, that resident, that individual that you may not even see tomorrow.